Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Icarus. I am Zystars, and today, well, today we're going to do a number of things, but the first one we're going to do is see if the recent update fixed my oxygen and water, fil filtered water problem. So, first step is going to be applying oxygen to this with the oxygen tool, not the water tool. And then we're going to grab the water tool. We're going to grab some water. Okay, so far so good. Now let's throw that. Okay, it looks like we've got a functioning oxygen thingy. So let's throw oxygen back over there. Did I grab that? Yeah. And then let's grab the water filter. I feel like these were the... Oh, no, that's right. They weren't the other way. That It wasn't set up in here for both of them. Sometimes you just have to click through and, and try to get your water, your water systems f fixed, you know? Let's consume that. Okay. We've got a functioning water and oxygen system. Fantastic. Oh, they, they patched it. They patched it. Yes. Now, I know I could use only one of these and just switch between them, but I did two for testing, and now I have two, so I'm just going to use... You didn't see me shrug my shoulders there, but I totally did. Let's grab you. Before I forget. Hopefully, I don't forget to bring my water this time. Okay, now, this mission, unable to request a new simple quest... Oh, yeah, I already started it crafting the trail beacons so i've got the trail beacons i've got the the survival tool it says find an entrance to the ice sheet in the ashlands now there it is i gotta go all the way here which kind of makes me think i have to run this circuit again to get up in here which is rough because i could just do this if there was an entrance i don't know if there's an entrance or not I don't know. So let's go find out, shall we? We need, need to get together some food. See, the problem is, is I need a whole different setup for the app for that. Uh, I've got this. I brought down the heated canteen, so we'll we'll make sure that's got water in it. I've got my thermoses with hot coffee in them. We're gonna probably want that. We're probably gonna want the quick fix bundle. No, I've got that. Uh, I'm, I need to make some heat bandages, just in case. And it looks like everything else is good. We've got good numbers in everything else. So yeah, let's make some heat bandages. I don't think I can top off these without actually using them. So we're just going to hold off on doing that. We are going to hold off on doing that. Alright, let's get this done. All right, well, we've made it back to this outpost. So everything along here, there was one area that looked like I could get up, but I was unable to. So it looks like we just have to shoot past this place. And uh, hopefully we'll find somewhere. It looks like it might be a cave. You know, I was thinking, might be might be a good idea just to fill the buffalo with the cart and just have all sorts of building materials and and water and gasoline a generator just all sorts of crap in there just to survive in this area a little more comfortably it would mean slower movement but slower movement wouldn't matter if we were loaded up with food and um and supplies you know or we could stop and take refuge anywhere we wanted to the only problem would be if the buffalo died we'd possibly lose everything hey look at that there's a cave over there Right there. Uh, we could island hop. Or we could see if we could get a long bridge to go across. I'm tempted to do the bridge idea. Here, come here, bird. I need... Alright, there we go. Score you for the win. I've only lost a couple of pieces. Hopefully I don't need flat scoria type brick or uh, platforms in the snow biome okay 
We gotta get across here. Here we are. Alright, sweet, that worked. Okay, I need to put some beacons down. Uh, that's not a good place for that. Put it on the side. Look at that. That is barely holding together. Oh, look. I hear I hear I hear winter winds through this cave. Okay. Follow. Let's get this off of me. Oh, what? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Cuz if I'm switching to arctic I brought the Arctic, uh, yeah. If I'm switching to Arctic, I want to do it. I don't want to have the desert food running. Oops, that was weird. Alright, it's pretty flat in here. I could turn the light on, but that's just going to waste the light without any real benefit. Okay. Oh, I did put on the heat and cold resistance module, just in case. Ooh, we got a left and a right. Okay, let's go left. Bird, you coming? I'm seeing waviness like it's going to get hot. We don't want to be running around low on food. Okay. I, did, I know, I only brought three. I should have brought some honey. I should have brought that honeyed mead to keep it running. Holy crap. Yeah, it is cold. Oh my god, really? That? It's going to go that far? Well, I've got the cold. I've got the stuff on. We're going to need to sleep. So let's sleep to the morning and let the sun come up. All right, how are we looking? Yep. Why am I on fire? Well, that was dumb. <laughs> I woke up and on the fireplace. All right, come on, bird. Uh, we're going to need Arctic animal feed. I'll be fine. All right, let's see how this looks now that it's not nighttime. Now it's going to bring us down. So let's do... Wait. That's just regular water. Let's use up the coffee. That brings us up. Okay. Okay. Bird. Come on, bird. Oh, wow. This cave has got all sorts of materials. Yeah, I could I could bring a furnace out here. I could bring um, a, ba a house. I could, I could make a dehumidifier and put it inside the cave. Okay, storm's over. Wait, am I going the wrong way? No. Why is it getting smaller? Oh, that's right. I already put a beacon up. All right, storms. Yeah, but we could we could easily put a base in this cave with a dehumidifier and some power and a heater. We'd have oh well, yeah, because the dehumidifier would keep us from getting the lung. Um, and I think I bet you we have to bash our way through this. Please tell me I brought a pick. Okay. I bet you we got to bash our way through this. I think I just heard it go thlunk. Yep. Ooh. This area is nothing but fuzz on all the images we've tried to take so far. It's all distorted and grainy. Utterly useless. What we do know is that it's likely to be just as inhospitable as the Ashlands, if not worse. <laughs> it's survival of the fittest out here, but you're used to that, right? Can I Thank not? God you got those trail beacons. If you want to head in there, you'll want to make sure you can get back out. I think it's too far. I need to put a trail beacon right here. Give me the distance I need. Okay. Now we've got the Arctic food and the Arctic saddle on the animal there. I've got my coffee in. Hopefully I brought enough. Let's see. Oh, man. Okay, well, I guess, I guess it's... uh. What's this? 
There's something over this way. Alright, looks like we got a problem. The, uh... Predator's not going to be able to come with us. I don't have enough ramps to build down there with ramps. So I can't bring him. And then, shoot, there's even that crevice. Here, let's, let's bust the camera out. If we come down... And we're going to have to get across that crevice, which I do not have. I don't not have the platforms for. I might be able to do it with the scoria ramps, but I don't know how well they'll hold up to the weight if it snows. But the ramp, the bird's not going to be able to come with us. He's going to have to stay here. Now, what does the bird have on him? Okay, now I'm pretty sure nothing bad's going to happen to the bird, because I'm pretty sure they took it out. They, they took the, uh, isn't this crazy? He's got Arctic Animal Feed, as well as an Arctic Saddle, which gives him 10, plus 24, 34% cold resistance, and he's still cold. So he's going to be hungry when we get back, but I'm going to put all of his food in here, because I'm not going to need it. And we're going to switch to those, and I'm going to take that and that. All right. Stay here, buddy. Please don't die. Oh. Uh, I can. I don't know what good that's going to do me. There we go. Right, we got a fair amount of meat that we can use. Oh, I should have left the saddle with the bird. Oh, well. All right. I've got six ramps left, and I should have one. Yeah, one of those in addition to my house, my house pieces. It looks like we might not need it, though. Too far. This is 100 meters? I don't think so. I've done. I, I've spent a lot of my time on a football field, and that is not a hundred meters. But whatever. Yeah, there's all sorts of crap down there. We're not going down there. Let's see. I should. I should how much would it suck if we died right now? Well, that's an ominous sound. goodness this is big oh there's something green in there oh no that's my that's my that's my beacon how did these scientists how did these scientists get down here okay here's where we are Hopefully, if we go due west, I mean, this is pretty much the only direction I could go. So I didn't really have much of a choice. I'm definitely glad I didn't bring the bird. There's no way in hell that bird would have gotten up here. Which means the ice, the icy area is going to be birdless, which does suck, but it is what it is. Oh, son of a biscuit eater. I don't want any more crevices. Oh, look, there's a bridge right there. Oh, there's a bridge right here. Over here. 
here. Here we go. I'm gonna, I guess drop down. This looks like it's probably some sort of big bone. Oh, that's not good. Snowstorm. Alright, we're at 65. Is that a cave? Yep, another cave. Let's see what's in here. Maybe some more exotics to take home. Uh huh. This is a big cave. Dang. It's a good size. Holy crap, it keeps going. Holy cow. Alright, now's not the time to be exploring there, but that is... That is quite the cave. We're losing sunlight. I'm gonna have to put up for the night. It's, I just kind of want to see what's over here. Okay, let's see... Oh, look, right there. There it is. I bet you that's it, right there. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh. Looks like these guys were out of supplies and just let Icarus have them. Starvation really is a lousy way to die. Can't say I blame them. Let's see if they left anything useful behind for us. How about these goons were living in aluminum? Oh, potbelly stove. Wood burning stove. Oh, the wood burning stove's the one. Oh, some nice beds. Oh. Down to three of us. Mike and Joe turned tail and left. They won't last five minutes out there by themselves. It's only me and Jason. I'm pretty sure Hans is a lost cause. He's lost his mind. He keeps talking about lights. Refuses to eat or drink. He's a goner. Yeah. Well, I'm taking that. I could probably make them easy, but... Same with the beds. Wood-burning stove. I like the... I like the curtains. They're pretty sweet. I don't really have windows in my base, though. Did the, if these stack, I'll take them. Yeah, they do. Oh, okay, it's just the regular curtains. It must be an alternate setup for them. Okay, so it's just these leather curtains. That's all it is? Oh, yeah. No, these are different. Hmm. Or maybe they changed them. Maybe they changed them. I don't know. We'll find out. Find out when we get home. What else we got here? It's good they put the doors like this, facing each other to keep the wind from blowing through the doors. That was smart. Okay. Oh, this guy's it. Yeah, this guy did his wrong. I like the chairs, they're cool. I'm not taking these windows, they're dumb. I have a feeling these are just the regular leather windows, and I just never set them up like that. Uh, never seen anyone like it. Huge, with the big angry horns and hooves the size of a car. Norex will be all over this later. Really? Something as big as a car? That must be that thing I hear thumping. What's it say now? Okay, we need more evidence. I'm going to totally take that toilet. What does it come into my inventory as? Rendered useless by the Envirosuits, but it's a plus two coziness bonus. Alright, what do we got? Is this wood? Wood pile, nice. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got... It's a easy, good way to burn your bit house down.
I can have this. Taking it. I tried picking up the equipment locker. Oh, partially frozen audio log. Okay. Oh, there's the mission. Found your nasty note about me, William. Let's see how this, how well you survive with a nice big hole in your suit. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Well, we found it. Now I suppose we gotta go home. Ridiculousness. I wonder if that big, huge cave leads here somewhere. Oh my god, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? So they got a torch. Looks like nothing else particularly good. Just a whole bunch of aluminum pieces, which I'm not, I'm not big with. I think I will take that, though. Is that... Oh, backpack is full. That's not good. Hmm... We don't need that bone. That way we've got room for stuff. Oh, these didn't stack. A thin locker. Perfect for storing gear. All right. Now, what's this thing? Uh, damaged communications. Non-function tenor reviews. Okay. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess that's the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um... Next episode, we'll do whatever the next one is in the line, and it'll probably have us run all the way back here. Um, I will probably bring as many cement ramps as I can carry to make this nonsense. Or no, yeah, wherever it was, to make it a little bit easier to get up. But I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for a little bit more content, leave a comment in the comment section, and share the video with your buddies. Because YouTube says sharing is caring. And as always, everyone, I do hope you have a great rest of your day. Shut up and sit down.